okay. <laughs> I'm so sick. But I'm wearing all these wearables. I'm wearing my Aura Ring, my Apple Watch, Garmin, and Whoop on my bicep. And I've had some crazy vitals. I've had some outliers here. And I want to dive deep into the data to see what it actually shows. But what's funny is my roommate, Tages. Are you guys working or just... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Tage is here was the very first one to have some outliers on March 21st. I don't know, I whenever I get sick I feel like I sleep like 18 hours in the day. I had a um, big runny nose, felt weak, congested. Yeah, whenever I see that go purple, I get scared. And the vitals on the left side. Three outliers on the 20 March 22nd, plus 2.5 temperature, no outliers here. It dropped a little bit, his breath rate was dropping down, temperature was still high on March. Then, my other roommate over here, Colt, got sick. How did you feel, Colt? Oh my god, it was terrible. This is what? my, uh, my what? sleep score for the past six months. Months? Six months? What app were you using? Last month, this is 8sleep. Okay. And this is my sleep. sleep. And when, do you, when did you get sick? I got sick right here. Okay. Oh, the pay attention area. Yeah. So then you went in the red-ish? Yeah. Did you remember the first day you got sick? Um, was it March 27th? Oh, just two days after Tages. Maybe. So you got you got sick literally two or three days after Tages. I did. So you, there's a higher likelihood that you got it from him, whereas I had it almost a week after you guys. Yep. So you probably got it from me. <laughs> We're just passing it off. Yep. Sharing is caring, Sharing bro. Is Thanks, caring. man. <laughs> like health and fitness. Wait, can I see your eat sleep app? Yeah. Oh, here we go. So March 25th, he was fine. March 26th, he had a high heart rate, low HRV, and high breath rate out of range all red. Same thing on the 27th, I think he was sleeping in bed. And then Friday, even worse, 60 heart rate, which is really high. And the best part is, is not only did I also catch what they had, but I also got an ear infection, which we'll talk about more. Let's dive into my data and see what happened on the Aura Ring, the Whoop, the Apple Watch, potentially the H-Sleep, and how all that illness impacted my overall score. So I'm gonna have the three apps here. This is the Whoop app on the left, the Aura Ring in the middle, and then the Health app, so my Apple Watch on the right-hand side. And as you can see, all of them have signs that say, hey, you might be sick. The Aura Ring is the only one that has this thing called a symptom radar, which I think is very interesting. If I go ahead and tap that, it'll give me my biometrics. My biometrics, bio bio I don't know, man. I'm not feeling the best, all right? But I promised I'd publish every single week. But it has this where I can now turn on rest mode. It shows my body temperature was plus 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and you can see I actually had a fever for three days right here, plus 2.8, 1.8, 3.5. Respiratory rate, heart rate variability. I thought it got better and then I got worse. I actually had to take antibiotics last night. Perfect. The Apple Watch will give me a vitals notification here, which says during your sleep, your respiratory rate and wrist temperature were higher than usual. When I'm wearing the watch, it will also notify me in the notifications tab, which I accidentally swiped away. But you can see I have this set up with a complication with the vitals is on the left hand side. And then I also have a vitals set up on the bottom there too, where I can scroll through them. My heart rate was within range, respiratory rate 18.4, wrist temperature 1.55 and sleep duration as well as my training load, which I can view there. So that just gives me easy access on the left-hand side. The right-hand side is just training load. But that same information is shown here. If I want to tap into it, I can tap that notification and see that same data on my phone. Obviously, because I bought this in the US, not gonna have oxygen levels. But I can even edit my pinned tabs, which these are the ones that I personally pin, because that's the most important to me. I can see my vitals as well in this direction. I can go to the week. I can see the same points that the Aura Ring was showing a temperature, right? Those three days. So those th same three days right here is also on the vitals app. I had those three outliers and then today, which we are semi out of this scene as well. So these two kind of match up. Now when it comes to the whoop, I do have the recovery score, which shows 33%, which is red, not ideal. And then there's a health monitor here where I can tap into health monitor and I can see my respiratory rate, which is high, blood oxygen, HRV, resting heart rate, and then skin temperature from baseline, which is a plus 2.2. So if we actually compare all three skin temperatures, we've got plus 2.2 on the whoop, plus 1.4 on the Aura Ring and plus 1.55 on the Apple Watch. And I even have the Garmin here. The Garmin said plus 1.3. So the Whoop seemed to be the most off, which I actually wear the Whoop on my bicep right here. So sometimes if it's not tight enough and move around or if I'm laying on it, maybe it might calculate that data differently just because it's a different part of my body, whereas the Aura Ring is on my finger and these are on my wrists. You can even see resting heart rate. Average respirations are about 18 on all of these, so they're all relatively close. 18.5 on the Aura Ring, 18.4 on the Apple Watch, 
18 on the Garmin and 18 on the Whoop. Resting heart rate was 61 on the Garmin, 64 on the Whoop, 58 on the Aura, and 59 on the Apple Watch. There was a higher level of discrepancy. The Aura and the Apple Watch were closer. Garmin and Whoop were closer together as well. And then my total sleep time was eight hours and two minutes on the Garmin, nine hours and 18 minutes on the Whoop, very high. Eight hours, 42 on the Aura Ring, and eight hours, 49 on the Apple Watch. Garmin was way under, and then the Whoop, was way higher and then the Aura and the Apple Watch were very close. I always just kind of take a general idea of all this data, but it's just interesting to look at. Now, when it comes to getting these notifications and knowing that I'm ill, one, there's a piece that can give you anxiety, right? About your health. You're like, oh no, I'm ill. I must feel awful. I can't do anything today. And that's one of the dangers of wearing a wearable. I think one of the most common things I tell people is if this is gonna give you like ortho insomnia, it's gonna cause you to struggle to sleep because you see bad data and you think, oh my, my body's not sleeping well. I don't feel well because the app said I don't feel well. And now it creates this like chaotic loop. It's important to ignore and not use these devices. But if you take it with a grain of salt, where I actually, because I wear all three, I can see there's slight differentiations in the data. One might say I'm sick. Sometimes I'll get a yellow on the whoop, but I'll have minor symptoms on the Aura Ring. So that helps like keep me in check that I'm not fully trusting these wearables, but I'm using as Intel in information. Obviously I'm ill right now and I went to the doctor and I feel bad. And I was like, the wearables are reaffirming that I do feel bad and I need to go to the doctor and get checked. So it just reminds me that like I might be contagious. Let's just stay at home. Let's not interact with too many people. I keep my distance, don't shake any hands, don't cough on people to minimize getting others sick as well as just resting. Like, do, how did I change my training plan? I still worked out. Most people might say, do not work out. I just turned it down. Usually I'll work out two hours a day, which is a lot. I turned it down to 30 minutes. I said, I'm gonna do a 30 minute easy run in the beginning. <laughs> Today I'm not doing anything at all because my body's just destroyed and I can feel it. But I was like, I don't feel too bad. I'm gonna do 30 minutes easy rowing, easy running, 30 minutes easy bike. I might just do a very easy lift where the stress on my body is not as high. So for some people that weight might be a lot, but for me, I just like, I want to maintain my strength and cardio. So I was like, let's do the bare minimum, just like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever that is. I recognize that like, hey, that might not be the best thing to do, but I honestly just felt better. It just felt good to sweat just a little bit. And then I just make sure to hydrate more and all that. But when I look at these devices, I know that I definitely should peel back. Obviously I'm using Runa to train for the London Marathon and that's in two weeks. And the Runa doesn't take into account my wearable data, which I think would be cool if it did but I missed my long run, but I only did three miles of my long run on Sunday. On Monday, I missed my tempo run. On Tuesday, I did three miles instead of the seven miles of the easy run. Tomorrow, I have a tempo three miles, which I'm probably not gonna do, and maybe I'll run on Saturday. So that's almost a week of like not really doing my workouts, which is a bit of a struggle. I'm kind of scared, but I think I've done most of the meat of the training and it's okay. It's just kind of a deload week. It's better to get sick now than get sick during the marathon, but we are 14 days away. like. That, just looking at that right there, TCS on a marathon 14 days away. I'm a bit scared, so make sure to follow me on all the socials. That's Trip and Shares if you want to see all of that, and I will be healthy by then, and hopefully we finish the marathon. But let's get back to the data. I think the most important thing when I get sick is I want the app to notify me that I might be sick, and I should just double check how I feel. And what was nice about the Apple Watch is I did get a vitals notification. Make sure your sleep tracking is set up, and you'll be able to see vitals information when you sleep with your Apple Watch. You need to make sure that vitals is on and enabled on your watch. So do this in your settings on the Apple Watch and the iPhone, the sleep settings. The Aura Ring and the Whoop, you really just need to wear them and then they will notify you. The Aura Ring I really like because in the morning, it actually starts off with the major signs, symptom radar, it notifies me. If you don't have this on under settings, you wanna make sure that symptom radar is actually activated. Sometimes it might be turned off. So this is on right now. And when it's elevated outside of bounds, dying. It'll notify me. I thought I was on the uptrend and now it looks like I'm back to major signs again, which I'm a bit disappointed about. So I can even turn on rest mode if I want to. And I can be like, I'm sick. Which one? Where's the sick tag? Aura, why do you make this so hard? Aura, turn on rest mode. Sick, why can't I search for it, Aura? So now rest mode is on. So now the activity, there won't be an activity score, which is nice, but it'll give me scores for everything else and I can see all that information up here. Obviously you wanna keep your daytime stress low, whether that's physical, mental, and even the food that you eat. So I'm gonna use that information, but major signs, that's from the Aura. The Whoop, it won't do much other than say your recovery is in the red and then the health monitor is elevated. And these are kind of yellow right now. So out of all of them, the Whoop is the one that's kind of like, you're the healthiest, you should, are fine. Like if I go out and drink one night, I might get these numbers. So this is not telling me too much. It just says you're kind of not recovered. It doesn't know that I'm ill, whereas I feel like the Aura and the Apple Watch are giving me 
better information than I'm most likely ill. Now, I did take some screenshots of some of my devices. So this is when I first got sick, that very first day, plus 2.8 temperature, which I think would almost be a 100 degree fever, if that is true. When I, mean, I had major signs, so that was very interesting. It says, go easy, both your temperature, resting heart rate elevated, how are you feeling? This is the notification I get in the morning. The whoop on that same day had a plus one temperature and an 18.5. All it did was give me this red in the health monitor. So other than that, there wasn't that much of a notification in the past few months. But there are vitals that you can see from the past month how we were in the blue and then bam, it spiked up on this day. So it's like, what's going on? Second day, again, major signs, plus 1.8 this time. The whoop this time said 0.6 on the temperature, which wasn't as high, very interesting. Respiratory rate was 19 on the aura ring, 18.6 on the whoop. And this was the day where it was like maximum pressure, 3.5 on body temperature, respiratory rate 20.5. So I was really bad. Three days in, peak signs, biometrics are the worst. This is when I felt the worst. The whoops at plus 4.4, which would be 102 degree fever, 3.5, so almost a degree difference. 18 respiratory rate, 20 respiratory rate on the aura. Resting heart rate was 72 on whoop, 67 on aura, and plus 2.8, and plus, almost plus three on the Apple Watch. So the Apple Watch was the lowest, and then the aura ring, and then the whoop was the highest. So as you can tell, I was not feeling my best. But then again, you look at this data and respiratory rate was high on the Apple Watch. It was green on the Whoop, but it was red on the Aura Ring. You can't always trust this data. It's not medical data, it's guided data to be like, hey, I might be ill, let's double check. And the biggest thing is do not let it give you anxiety because you see that information. Maybe there's other things going on. Like if you're a female and you're going through a cycle, you could also have similar symptoms like this, throughout specific parts of your cycle. I obviously don't experience that, so I can't speak to it, but if you'd like me to bring someone on as a guest, I can. But then there are other reasons like alcohol, caffeine intake late in the day, eating late, you know, all these things that can happen. And my hair's a total mess. I'm not taking care of myself because I feel like And then we came here, you can see, oh, I'm getting better. Minor signs, my heart rate variability is still down. My respiratory rate is down, but I might be trending into a healthy direction. And lo and behold, no signs of strain. I did, I did end up using the aura ring as the best way to measure where I was trending on my illness for some reason. It just seemed like how they portray the data in terms of the graphs and that symptom radar was the easiest to consume over the Whoop and the Apple Watch data like that. Apple Health does give you that ability where I could like tap in, I can go ahead and like swipe through each day. But it, when I go to week, like I don't get to see the data in a raw and easy to consume manner. Like, yep, I wanna see that spike and that drop. But for some reason, I just, it didn't seem as easy as going to the order ring, but like, look, here's a simple graph. I'm good and I'm, I'm bad and now I'm good. And then bam, I got unhealthy again, turn on rest mode. This is what happened this morning. It gave me this major signs, elevated body temperature, make time to recover. Do you want to re-enable rest mode? So I was a bit disappointed about that. But even on the Apple Watch, we can see, all right, we got these two outliers. We can tap the week. It's going to load all of my show more vitals data. I think that's one of the downsides of with the Apple Watch. It takes a bit to load sometimes. It might just be because I have so much data, but I can tap in here and I can't see the actual numbers. I now have to be like information, heart rate, Okay, there we go. Now we can see my heart rate graph over time. That took a bit of figuring out, right? I want the user experience to be easy. And surprisingly, the aura ring seems to be the easiest when it comes to maneuvering my health data and trends over time. Maybe I want to see my respiratory rate. Here it is. Oh, it really peaked right there. My wrist temperature, 1.75, 2.98. Like everything seemed to peak and now I have another fever, semi-fever today. Blood oxygen, I don't have this because I wasn't wearing an older Apple Watch. And then sleep duration stayed relatively consistent, I would say. But it's cool that I can kind of see all this information. Over time, you can see this is when I got sick. If we go back, I bet there are points like, what happened on this day? February 13th, I probably drank. Or maybe I was sick, honestly. November 3rd, maybe I drank or I was sick. Like these are one day. Oh, this one's big. This, I was sick. May 5th, it's almost near my birthday. So I probably got sick around my birthday. Could have been alcohol, but I doubt. Two days in a row was alcohol. These one days are probably alcohol. When it's like two to three days, most likely an illness. But it's really cool that I can see all this information over time. Maybe April, same time, 2023, I got sick on these same dates. So maybe it's meant to be on this April 10th, every year I get ill, I get a fever, whatever that is. Great, I'm gonna go take my vitamins. If you have any tips for advice on how to feel healthier, let me know down below. I'm taking zinc, magnesium, omega-3s. I'm taking my antibiotics that I need to, drinking as much water, staying hydrated. I'm not gonna work out today or tomorrow and I'm just gonna rest, I don't know, I'm tired. I hope you I hope you liked this video. I hope it was valuable. Comment below. Get Wall Shervin down below. It'll make me feel better. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.